Hello and welcome back. Let's play Etrian Odyssey with me, Boltish Big Ever. Today we are going to go to find the places that we have not been before. Let's see, fill that in. And let's go up here now. A random battle with a claw bug. I will kill you this time. I died to you last time, but I won't this time. I'm sure of it. Ow. Time you defend. Ah, you see? You almost got me again. But I was smarter. Take this, you claw bug crab thing. Ow. I don't really think I should risk it. It's only got a sliver of health left. But I think I can get him. Yes! Tiara gets the crit to save me! Thank you, Tiara. I got another hard shell for your efforts. What's this? As you continue down the path, you find a red fruit growing on the wall of the tree. It hangs just within reach, seemingly daring you to pluck it and take a bite. You can serve for a moment whether or not to eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. The root sweet juices slid down Kikoskia's throat. He recovered 10 health! Just what I needed. Because I don't think I can heal anymore on Gav, because I healed between sessions. I need to make a mad dash over th for that healing power of that spring. Kill the mole. It hits harder than the wood fly. Ow. Looks like I can hit people in the back. Oh well. They're both dead now. Eh, uh, I'm not even gonna bother going up those areas. I know how it's mapped. It's like this. Let's visit this. Again. Drink should do it. And if I have to heal, this is a good time to do it. Uh, yes. I have to drink twice more. Or more if I have to heal again. These wood flies get hit slightly harder than the tree rats. Or not. I guess it depends on defense and stuff. The rats can run away, though. The fly won't. And before I drink it again, I better heal again, just to make sure I get the best effort out of everything. Twice more. Once more. No. Yes. Just making sure everybody's good. If you have an alchemist, that spring's even more important, because it means you can nuke more things with whatever spell you decide to learn. Okay, let's map this area up here. Like this. Hey, a single ball. Preemptive. It's like an experience bag. Goody, goody! much. And what's this here? As you continue onto the forest, you reach a clearing. Squarish boxes are lined up before you. It's possible they were left by fellow explorers of the labyrinth. Then too, they may be part of the treasure rumored to litter the labyrinth. The boxes sit ready to be opened, offering no clues to their nature. Yay, presents! This one has another sword! This one has a healing item. It's like a high potion. This one has 200 bucks. Yay, it's like a mediocre Christmas. All right, 
right, now you can map this whole room. This is basically what it looks like. You don't have to map this room for the quest, but whatever. You gotta do it anyway. Erase that. It's wrong. And there we go. Oh, don't forget to equip that sword. Kiko would love it. There you go, Kiko. Now to get out of here. What's left of map? Ah, that one area in the upper left of the red box. Ooh, nice crit. Oh, that one rat over there is defending. Guess we'll kill his friend. Or not. Voltage goes first because he's fast. He can snipe that one before it even tries to run away. Ha ha ha. Victory is mine. Let's go to that area. Over here. Four wood flies. It's like a good time to buff. I kinda wish I would be able to buff uh, before everybody attacked. But oh well, can't be helped now. After battle, this calf's little bit of three damage could help make the difference. Or not. He wouldn't have been able to heal anyway, because he's too slow. If you use abilities, you get extra stall time, too. Which is why physical attacks just tend to go off faster. So, let's go over here. And map the area. Hey, it's another event. Check it. While walking through the forest, you find something furry at the trail's end. Initially thinking it a creature, you lower your guard upon realizing it's a boot. Could it have belonged to an adventurer? You weigh the option of picking up the dirty boot or leaving it where it flies. Let's pick up the boot! You gingerly pick up the dirty boot. It's rather heavy due to the ivory-colored stones its previous owner hid inside. You obtain a white stone. As you marvel at the stones, the ground begins to shift unnaturally. The dreadful monsters who likely killed the boots owner ambush you! This could kill a new party that didn't buy anything, but fortunately I killed enough stuff that I have activated the boots. And with a boost you can do extra damage or whatever you feel like doing. This, this, and this. Yeah! Boosted hit! See how much easier this fight was made through the boost? Yay! We discovered a beast bone. And we got a white stone. Yeah, that white stone, you can just sell it for a hundred N. It's nice. More random enemies. Let's see if I can talk to that guard before this video ends in one minute. Yep, I'll talk to the guard. Might even level up. As you stride through the forest, you meet the soldier, still guarding his post. Once he notices your presence, he hails you cheerfully. Oh, I got your map all in order, have you? In that case, you've got my permission to proceed. The soldier stands on one side and waves at you through, as if passing the torch to you. You want to report your success to Arata, but the thought of going deeper in is also tempting. Let's go deeper. If I can hurry this up, and not get into another random battle, which I know I will, Uh, I'm gonna do this. Run away! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run away! If I run away, I can touch the next door. Yes! 
and whenever you touch the next floor, you open up stuff, which I will explain in the next video. Later, adventurers! <laughs>